We usually tend to start each interview if you just want to give like a brief introduction to yourself and your practice, just like that, for people who maybe are not already familiar with it. Sure. Um, I'm Naylan Blake. I'm um, primarily known as a sculptor, but I work in a lot of different mediums. Um, and um, I think of what I do is, um, trying to um, bring ideas and concepts together um, in physical space to see what happens with them. I wanted to talk about these two sort of roles that you consistently embody, those being um, educator and professor, of which you are mine, mm -hmm. um, and also artist um, with a working practice. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a couple of things about being a teacher. You have to, you have to find something in it that is nourishing to you. Mm. Um, if you don't, you'll eventually, you know, just um, be in a place of resentment. Mm -hmm. um, but also, second, I think that you have to, um, and, and this is sort of a deeper thing, you have to be willing to make a better artist than you are. Mm -hmm. And if you, <laughs> if you are not um, comfortable with that outcome, Mm. then it's probably not a good idea for you to teach. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. That's a really interesting thought. I've never thought about it that way. Yeah. Yeah, that's absolutely true. <laughs> so, I mean, those things aside as cautionary things, you know, the thing I say a lot is that one of the good things um, about teaching is that it's the way that I get to... Um, hear the stuff that I need to hear mm. because I'm saying it to um, my students and mm. it's a thing that I can't necessarily say to myself. One of the things that I think you really emphasized a lot um, while I was at ICP was this idea of the studio mm -hmm. and having a really specific and dedicated space that we can return to that is reserved for our time to make art and whether that being mm -hmm. like a kitchen table whether that's a basement, whether that's a coffee shop, or whether that's like an actual studio. I think that when we're making art, we are, you know, bringing pieces of ourselves out into the world. And, um, and however we've been taught to think about that self mm. is um, whatever emotions are associated with that activity um, that's going to come up and usually we get a lot of emotions associated with that activity very early on. In the midst of those, of those emotions coming back up, um, anything else becomes more interesting to do than making your work, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> it's like suddenly alphabetizing your book seems like so much more important mm -hmm. <laughs> than like making something yep. or like <laughs> you know, going out and shopping for the right pencil mm -hmm. or or catching up on your email mm -hmm. or what's on Twitter mm -hmm. or, the, you know. Mm -hmm. um, and so, you know, the point of the studio is to um, make a place where there are fewer and fewer of those possibilities and you can remind yourself that it is okay, this is for you, you can sit outside mm -hmm. in it mm -hmm. um, and, and uh, not let the rest of the world um, derail you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know? Absolutely. I remember once I came to you while I was a student and I was sort of like in crisis mode mm -hmm. <laughs> and I was like, I am overwhelmed. You know, I was like a full-time student and I had a part-time job and I was interning and working on my relationship. And, and I said like directly to you that every time I'm not, 
making like every time I'm not working, I'm running an errand and I'm like literally like mm -hmm. I'm doing laundry. Mm -hmm. And I remember you were like, okay, Kat, if if all you have time for is doing laundry, then you should be making work about doing laundry. And it was this like radically like game changing moment for me because I had like I couldn't there's nothing I could say to it. You're like mm -hmm. that's that's the answer. It's still something I struggle with, you know, and I still think about that all the time. When I'm doing laundry, I think about it. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, this is my own practice. <laughs> well, you and me both. I yeah. mean it's like it is, you know, I, again I it's like I say stuff like that because I need to hear it. And I think mm -hmm. a lot of times, um for artists, like that that thing of um, well, I can't make work about laundry. That's not important enough. Mm. The underlying message is my life, however it is, isn't important enough. Mm. And then the question becomes like, well, important enough for who? It's like no one else is living it. This is the life that we've got. Right. So, you know, how, like, like we can't wait around for another more important life to show up yeah. so that we have something to make work about. Yeah. Do you have any like strategies or rituals that you return to when you feel in, just in, uninspired or just discouraged um, about making work? Like, is there something that you go to to kind of pull you out of it? Doing something daily, hmm. like I like numbers are much easier to examine than quality. Hmm. And mm -hmm. so it's like, if I say I have to make a drawing a day, mm -hmm. then at the end of the day, I know, mm -hmm. did I make a drawing or, or mm -hmm. did I not make a drawing? Mm -hmm. I've never said that they have to be good drawings. Mm -hmm. That yeah. just has to be one a day. Yeah. You know, finding the ability to do that makes you realize that there are these other like pockets of time, mm -hmm. but you know, and, and, um, and uh, availability that I wasn't necessarily noticing before. Mm -hmm. So we usually kind of end the, mm -hmm. <laughs> the interview <laughs> on this specific question and which okay. we'd like to point out you can interpret in any fashion okay. that you want to. Um, it's it's a, a marry, fuck, kill situation. Okay. Um, and our three selections for you are Robert Smithson, mm -hmm. Lee Lozano, Mm -hmm. and David Warner Warbitch. And again, you can interpret it in any fashion, whether it's like a specific body of work that you would kill off or whether you can really kind of go for it. How wow. You feel. Okay. <laughs> we form a triad. Lee Lozano and Warner Warbitch and I um, get married, um, fuck, and kill Smithson. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. That's awesome. That sounds great. I love the triad. It's a beautiful triad. I wish it could materialize.